Ladies and gentlemen, Side Strafe back with Mech Warrior Online. And today, Shadow Cat. Live commentary. Go. Ah, the Shadow Cat. The mech that I really, really, really want to like. Mostly because, well, it's cool looking. Probably the wrong reason to want to like a mech or any vehicle. But, um,. I don't know, there's just something about it. It's got uh, some nice hard points for weapons, top mounted, like I prefer. Um, it's got mask, it's got a lot of jump jets. ECM capabilities, of course. But in a medium package. However, I think the fact that it has so many jump jets and mask means that you can't really load up on weaponry. So, it's hard to build around it, I think. And for me, it usually comes down to, can I find a mech that performs better than a Raven 3L? Usually, no. I haven't found one that manages to beat my scores or records within the 3L. Um, so I think really at the end of the day this is gonna be a just for fun kind of mech but I'm trying to still make it work because well like I said it is cool looking. If PGI gets one thing right it is the uh, conceptualization behind these beasts their artist is fantastic. Uh, let's see though, what do we got here? Enemies open up on us from the front. I don't have advanced zoom target acquired. New target on here. Acquired. Got my ER large lasers and the uh, medium as backup. We appear to be engaging hostiles across the way there. Uh, some on the uh, far right taking fire, but I actually believe that gentleman is not within damage range. Well, it feels like I'm getting hit, but it's not registering. He is pretty far out there. New target Just hitting them, kind of keeping them pinned down. We want to keep an eye on the mini-map because uh, most of our team is on the right and we don't want to get flanked. Yeah, those aren't registering on me, so... New target acquired. This is catapult headed. I think this mech works um, pretty well in a support role just because you've got ECM and since you're medium you can last a decent amount of time with the armor that you have. Um, but I'll tell you right now, I'm thinking, all right, well, let's work on this guy. Target destroyed. And he's dead. But most of the fighting we've got over here. And what, what I want to do is try to provide some ECM coverage to friendlies that are fighting on the front line. At least, it sounds like a good idea. Although we are kind of spread out here, so we want to be careful. Shots out on Wolverine. I don't want to overextend here. So when I pop around here, there could be something that pops left. New target acquired. All right, multiple contacts. New target acquired. Wolverine's almost down.
Not much on that. We've got contacts on the right as well. They're being dealt with. New target acquired. It's like a fire starter. These guys are tricky. New target acquired. Summoner. All pretty messed up though. New target acquired. Don't want to get stuck against these rocks here. I like to try to use the mask to go fast in reverse as well. Kind of get me out of a, a tight spot. Too much damage there. Delayed torso twist. Acquired. Alright, I keep hitting this wall, so I need to be very careful about my position. It seems like they're waiting for us to pop up. We're waiting for them to pop up. You can see that guy took a lot of uh, fire. See if I can find an opportunity here. New target acquired. Nice little peekaboo spot here. Storm crow. Now my weapon placement's a bit wide on on some of the uh, laser mounts for the arms. I've got the two ER large on the one side, but the uh, mediums spread out from the the rest, so it's kind of hard to get shots in like pinpoint positions contact down there New target acquired got the big old fatless good positioning right here New target acquired oops wrong laser things are getting a little hot New target acquired I think the uh Highlander's on. Yep, that guy's onto us right there. Oh, and he somehow manages to still hit me. I've got a sniper up there. This guy's still looking at. Yeah, dang it. I've been discovered. That was a good spot for a little while. Just gotta take some more advantage of it. If we can creep through here, though. Good burn on him. Assist. New target acquired. Thunderbolt. Seen better days, I think. New target acquired. Highlander. Right torso. Critical damage. This thing is really good at getting out of tight situations just because it's got mask and a ton of jump jets. Ow! Oh, that hurt. Guy just took out all of my ER large lasers. Dang it, that hurt. Well. See what we can do with this remaining laser. That really took me by surprise. That was a fantastic attack there by that gentleman. Um, let's see if we can. Take it to him. It's hard to get his leg. Let's see if we can. We gotta watch that friendly fire. I hate fire starters. They're pretty tricky indeed. His leg's almost down. He's just running for it now. He's going to try to uh, bait. 
Yeah, he came up right behind me. Definitely was not expecting that. I don't know if he knew I was up there or if he just got lucky. Um, I know his buddies knew I was up there, but I didn't run into him. Target He's destroyed. done. Good job, guys. Average pilot has killed average pilot. Did he just fall off of something and wreck his other leg, maybe? I'm not sure there. Guess he wasn't going to grant us the kill. Um, 369. Not bad. I'm usually happy as long as I can get above 300 in any mech. Um, it's always hard to get back into this game because you're used to larger numbers from other titles, but then you got to realize that 300 is not too bad, I guess. Um, I lost a lot of my weapon systems there, but we did get some good hits in on hostiles at... Uh, a variety of ranges so let's get back into the mech lab and uh, I'll just show you this build it's I don't think anything crazy I don't think it's any type of meta build I don't think that this is anything to write home about it's just kind of one that uh, Bombadil and I came up with when we first played these mechs um, you can see they've got the two ER large lasers on the right side, arm and torso, and then the medium on the left arm. Uh, I don't think there's anywhere else I can really stick this, but um, ECM I put on pretty much every Shadow Cat. Double heat sinks, as many as possible, maxed out the armor, and 44.9 out of 45 tons. Um, I tried to come up with other builds for this, but. It, it seems difficult. I wanted to kind of do like a blackjack variant with um, auto cannons, AC2s, and maybe some medium lasers for backup, but it just doesn't seem like I can fit it right. Um, the thing is, you've got a lot of these jump jets and, and, and the mask that are weighing you down, and you can't remove them. Honestly, the way I play, I could probably do without all of these jump jets. I don't use jump jets a lot. They do come in handy, but... I don't know, they're not my favorite thing to have. Um, but anyway, yeah, as you can see, I mean, it's 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 a damn good looking mech. Uh, I think if I were to redesign this myself, I would probably not have my lasers. Look how far out the lasers are. They're all the way on the sides of the, uh, the gun pod here, the arms. Instead of placing them here, or even somewhere closer, like you would think realistically, if you're going to build a weapons platform, you probably want things, you want to be a, a smaller target, so you want to put these even closer to here, but uh, I guess that wasn't the thought process when, when making or remaking this mech. Um, uh, but otherwise, you can see that we have the cockpit here. The mounting solution is fantastic, which means you can cover this section of your mech. You can be, as I like to say, leg down instead of hull down in a tank. Uh, so you can protect yourself pretty well on it, and it's just it's just good looking, you know, it just has that nice, sleek design to it. Angular, not too curvy, but um, it's it's a nice looking mech. I kind of wanted to do like auto cannon here, auto cannon here, because I thought it would look cool, but it just doesn't really work out very well like the blackjack, sadly. Otherwise that would be uh, beast mode, because I like having the barrels, but anyways, time for one more match. Okay, round two, and once again, just going to try to stick with the team as much as possible, provide ECM coverage, and support fire if I can. Uh, this map has changed quite a bit. This is the new River City, and uh, I feel like it's gotten a little bit more uh, brawly just because there's a lot more um, city cover now. I like the new layout, I have to admit. like. The design of the map, I think, is much improved. It feels, um, you know, more like uh, a cityscape. Uh, aesthetically, I, I think PGI still needs to work on their map making skills, um, but the the design of it is good. It's just the way it looks is, you know, kind of meh, still. Target. Okay. But anyway, um, we've got mechs to kill, hopefully. Contact Alpha. 
Let's follow these guys into the battle. But, um, you know, when I was in the mech lab, I was uh, wanting to discuss the fact that I, I feel that this is just more of a, a support mech versus target acquired. anything else. Um, because you've got ECM and, you, and you've got the armor of a, of a medium. Uh, maybe not the heaviest armor on the planet, but uh, enough to kind of keep you going. And took some early fire there. Not a fan of that. Oh, wow. Somebody nailed that guy. Target acquired. Uh, we've got something up front here. But yeah, I feel like you can you can use the fact that you have ECM mask uh, and a lot of jump jets to get in and out of bad situations while also supporting you know teammates whether it's at the front line or or maybe even in defensive positions protecting LRM boats and things like that. Um, there's a lot you can do with this mech. Alright, we need to find cover though. Because we just don't have enough of it. And I never like being in a situation where I can't protect myself from incoming fire. Um, I gotta watch out, so this guy's about to cross my shot. Which is why I didn't shoot. Uh, I noticed that this map also has an accelerated day-night cycle. So you'll either start in the darkness or sometimes uh, in the morning then it'll get dark. It's kind of interesting. A lot of hostile contact out there. New target acquired. Just want to check my fire here because dealing with a lot of New target acquired. Again, kind of using that mass to back us in. So you can see how dark it's gotten now, so I'm going to have to maintain night vision. He's under ECM coverage, it appears. And he's dead now. That's always a good thing. Uh, okay. Target acquired. Oh, frack me! I'm not sure who that was. And so I'm trying to get to cover as quickly as possible. No, thermal's not really going to help too much here. Contact right. New target acquired. That guy hasn't taken much damage. New target acquired. Somebody out there. I don't know who hit me. I think somebody hit with a, with a Gauss rifle. I'm just not sure who. Okay, I'm going to try to maybe get into uh, some flanking positions here. Cut around these gentlemen. This guy's gonna get messed up. Target destroyed. Nice and good burn durations on these shots. Again, if there's one thing this mech has, it's flexibility. You know, it can do a lot, but. You know, it's not really going to be... The Raven 3L that I kind of want most mechs to be. Obviously, it's not a light mech. It's not supposed to be. It's not trying to be. But um, it's just one of those things where I always end up uh, resorting to hit and run tactics. So I, I just don't know that I'm ever going to be able to replace, you know, my favorite... And that's fine, you know, everybody should have like a favorite mech, that one mech that they're really great with, but I'm trying to find another mech to be okay with, you know? And I kind of wanted this one to be it, just because I think it looks neat and has some interesting features to it, and it could be, maybe, but...
kind of helps you uh, get away from people when you're stuck on bridges, too. Who are we looking for here? Still kind of curious about how this... I mean, you can see here now we've turned off night vision. you got some city lighting going on. Kind of trying to gauge the uh, day-night cycle timing. It seems pretty fast. And who remains? Uh, looks like we've got this one. I don't know how well I did, but... I'm just happy to be on a winning team. But this thing's got a lot of jump jets too, and you can... ...fly with it. Just gotta watch your legs on the way down, of course. Oh, it's a spider? This ought to be great. Five years later, we'll actually find him. Okay, let's see, where is he at? Probably causing a lot of trouble around here, I'm sure. Where the frack is he? He's definitely playing like a spider. I'm trying to get some pursuit mode action here, but man, we just can't get him. You gotta watch that mask. You don't want to overuse it, obviously, to damage your legs if you, if you enter the red. Good burn on him there, but... Cheeky, aren't you? Gotta watch that friendly fire, though. That's the only problem. He's almost done. I've got his leg. There we go. Okay, I got kind of stuck in the rocks there, but... Oh, man, you gotta watch out for those light pilots. They can be... difficult sometimes. Not that I would know anything about that. But anyways, what did we do here? 239. I didn't break 300. I'm sad this day. I had a 400 match. I think that was the highest I ever uh, managed to score with this build. I don't have a speed tweak yet. I don't have all the pilot skills unlocked, but... Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to be it for today's look at the new clan Shadowcat. Has potential. Can be fun. Uh, but I don't know that it's going to be like a meta mech of any sort, but um, maybe in the right hands it can perform better. Um... I think it's just fun to use this support mech, really, if you're not too concerned with getting top damage all the time. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me here on a regular basis. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.